the nesting stage is real like it makes no sense like What is up guys? Today I was thinking we need to go shopping for the rest of baby girl's stuff. So I'm at Target. Me and big brother just pulled up. He's in his own world. Anyways, there's a few things I want to get to like make sure I have before she gets here to make myself feel more prepared. Like the nesting stage is real. Like it makes no sense. Like I guess it's so like primal and you just feel like, oh my gosh, like I have to get everything in order. And I don't know, right now I just feel like I don't have enough. So I just want to make sure I get some little odds and ends to make sure we have everything that she needs before her arrival. I'm starting to get like really anxious and like you know ready for her to be here but like it's just that that time where it's like she could be here at any time and I just feel like I'm not ready so I want to get some more things I know some things that I want to get is some newborn clothes because a lot of people got her like three to six months clothes which is great but she does need like some just you know newborn onesies and maybe some zero to three month onesies I might get as well I'm trying not to go too crazy because you know how it is when you go to Target it's just it takes over I just don't know it's something about Target it's just the aesthetic the vibe when you walk in there you just feel so good I don't know I can't explain it but anyways so yeah I need to go ahead and get some more infant Tylenol some like gas drops things like that because I didn't get any of those essentials so I want to get some of those things maybe some baby body wash I don't know we'll see when we get in there do you want to Say hi. Do you want to say hi? Say hi. Say hi. All right, he don't want to say hi. But anyway, so yeah, we'll see what I end up getting. <laughs> Y'all, I, I literally have on a dress for a shirt. I can't fit anything. So we are back from Target. Carter is napping. I put him down. So I thought I might as well show you guys some of the things that I got. I wasn't able to really talk in Target because it was a lot of people there and I didn't want to be, you know, talking to the camera like in front of a lot of people because it, it kind of feels like a little awkward. It is raining outside so it is a little dark but hopefully you guys can see so I got this like manual breast pump because like I was telling you guys, I don't know if you guys saw any of my last video, but I really wanted to get a manual pump. I feel like manual pumps are good, especially when you have like clogged ducts and stuff. They actually get out your milk better than electric pumps do. So I definitely wanted to get a manual pump this time around because I didn't have one the first time. And then... I also got this little, these are like bottle cleaners and it's by the brand Boone and looks like cacti in a little vase like thing. I thought it was pretty cute. So I decided to get this. I also got this for the car seat just to give her like some more head support and stuff like that. I got a mirror so I can see her in the back, her and Carter. Hopefully he's not messing with her too much. 
And then I got her some pacifiers because we really didn't get a lot of pacifiers, which I'm surprised about. So I just got two for now. A lot of times the hospital will give you like one at least. So I feel like three at the very beginning will be fine. And then I also decided to get her the CeraVe body wash and shampoo and then the moisturizing lotion. We have tons of like baby like body wash and stuff for Carter, but this is a little bit more gentle I felt like, especially for that newborn. You know how they get all that baby acne and all that stuff. I just wanted to get something super gentle for her and then like of course, as she gets older, she can use the exact same stuff that Carter has. I just didn't want it to be like the scented kind or anything because we have like mainly like matte lavender scent and stuff like that. And sometimes scents and stuff can like break out their little gentle skin. So I just decided to get the CeraVe for now. And I felt like this would, you know, these little bottles will last us um, until she gets at least about like three or four months or so. And then I got her this saline spray you know just in case when she does get like a really stuffy nose and stuff like that you know this is one of the best things to do for them i got her some butt paste um and then some infant tylenol and these mylocon drops i'm telling you these right here. I actually like Mylocon drops better than gripe water. Like they work miracles to me. Like <laughs> I'm telling you, I love me some Mylocon drops. And then I also got this probiotic and vitamin D drops. So they're dual. So it has probiotics in it and vitamin D because a lot of times your pediatrician, well, I know my pediatrician told me to go ahead and supplement my baby with vitamin D drops if I'm exclusively breastfeeding. So I also like to give them probiotics in it as well because Carter did so much better with the probiotics so that's why I decided to get them together and that way you don't have to give two different medications so that's why I did that and then I got her some newborn clothes because she didn't get a lot of newborn clothes but I thought this was really summery and cute and I got her this little outfit and I got her some white onesies that are newborn and I got her some plain white socks and then um, this little cute outfit. I thought this was really cute and summery. Really loud summer colors right now. Spring colors, spring summer colors. And then I got her these little footies right here for sleep. So that is all that I decided to get her for now. That's all that I'm thinking that we really, really need. Um, the last things I want to get for her, well, for me, kind of, I guess more so for her, but um, we'll get my breast pump should be coming soon from my insurance. And then also um, I'm thinking about getting like a wearable breast pump as well. So that is what I'm debating about. So today is Sunday and I am officially 36 weeks. So I want to fix up her nursery and me and Derek are going to do that today. So we have quite a few things to do, but yeah, I'm going to take you guys along, show you guys, you know, the building process and just all that we're doing. So we are going to start building getting everything together and yeah i'm so ready because i feel like you know having her room together gets me a little bit closer to her so i'm ready i'm ready for this to be together <laughs>
All right guys, so all of those clothes are in the wash. The next thing I'm gonna do is get all these towels and swaddles washed. This is the whole bag of like old swaddles that Carter used to have. So we're gonna wash all these. These are some more crib sheets I'm gonna wash. These are like the Moby wraps and all of the like baby wearing wraps I'm gonna wash that I used to use for Carter. This is the Ergo Baby. I really love the Ergo Baby when they get a little bit older, but I want to go ahead and wash that because it's all gross from Carter. But now I want to go ahead and sterilize all these bottles. So these right here, I don't have my pump yet, but I have a manual pump that I'm going to sterilize. So once I get the pump, I'll sterilize all those parts. I think I'm just going to sterilize like two of these bottles my haka i want to go ahead and sterilize maybe one of these bottles for now and maybe one of these bottles for now i don't want to do all the bottles i'll just leave some of them in the cabinet for you know if some of them get like really nasty or like you know i just want to trade out bottles or something like that so i won't do all the bottles plus i use this baby brezza right here so it really doesn't have that much space um as you can see you can pretty much see that you know all this bottom row i use for bottles up here i usually use for the nipples and for pacifiers so yeah i think i'm just going to go ahead and do a few bottles because that's probably all i can fit anyways and also guys if you guys don't have a bottle sterilizer it's not that big of a deal like you can definitely sterilize bottles pacifiers all that on the stove it does the same thing so i wouldn't stress it if i didn't have one but i'm gonna go ahead and do that and get that out the way so I got the bassinet in our room this is how it looks it's actually level to our bed so I like that about it but they also have straps that come with it that you can like you know um, hook to your bed to make sure it's safe but this comes down as well and yeah I really like it I'm rethinking the all white though not even gonna lie cuz Somebody got their chocolate hands all over it. Anyways, we're going to make it work now that we have it. So I'm going to get the caddy ready while he's watching Elmo. I got to keep an eye on him. So I'm going to do it in our room and then I'm going to put it in the corner. And then the bedside nursery should be done.
right guys so i'm done with the caddy so i'm gonna go over some of the stuff that i put in here i put diapers wipes i put the baby sound machine in here and then i have a little space over here for like kind of like all the medications i got the probiotic drops the mylocon drops tylenol some butt paste some saline spray and then like some syringes for the medication i also have like all this safety first stuff like the little kit they come with like a little medicine cup the thermometer this little thing for boogers brush and comb and then over here this little thing it's a changing pad i also have like carmex for me some baby lotion some purell some hand sanitizer these right here this is like my breastfeeding station when i get my electric pump i'll put that there um this i put some snacks in here because at night when you're breastfeeding you definitely okay carter <laughs> At night when you're breastfeeding, you definitely want like snacks and stuff, but clearly he wants these. So yeah, and then I put some nipple cream in here as well. And my Hakka, my manual breast pump is in here. Some breast milk bags right here. These are the, um, they're like cooling pads and you can also heat them for whatever you need basically like whatever therapy you need if you need a cooling pack you can freeze them if you need them to be warm you can um warm them up so those are great for breastfeeding and then these i have swaddles just a few um some mittens some hats a couple socks and then just some white onesies just in case she has any blowouts and then i also have a burp cloth so these are just like some of the things that I think um you know is good to have at your bedside so I just kind of like catered it to what I like at my bedside so yeah sir this is just <laughs> he's a mess you think it's funny I'm just trying to be a man I want to show you in the best way that I can that I'm so in love with you Try to be serious, but you can never tell It isn't easy to confess how hard I felt When we've just been friends since the day we met I don't know what to do Cause how can I try to cross all the lines That we've always had between you and I the soon If I'm just a friend to you how can I make you change your mind to see me different? Wish I could get your eyes on my prescription Cause baby all it takes is the same vision For me to get your heartbeat going just as fast as mine Cause I could be your guide I see you by my side But maybe I'm just blind Maybe I'm too serious I try to keep it in my head But it isn't really going well Feeling like we gotta meditate But I can't escape And now I hate myself I hate my thoughts For thinking about you And I'm thinking a lot Cause I'm never around you I would tell you But I don't know how to say what I'm feeling Now I've been feeling down Cause I feel the distance growing Spending more days without you Don't like where we are going Alright guys, so I went ahead and washed This changing pack cover put it on, washed her bedspread, put it on, and then packed these with newborn diapers, um, and then some wipes, and then I have all her newborn zero to three month clothes in here, just onesies and sleepers, and I have some bibs, her socks, and then um, a few burp cloths, hats, and um, mittens so in there and then down here we have all her swaddles majority of these were carters are you doing what i'm doing majority of these were carters when he was a baby hey watch your fingers watch your fingers okay so yeah that's why they have all these neutral prints hey guys so it's a few days later and i got my hair done trying to get ready for baby 
you know with my protective style i always like to get some type of twists or something like that so i ended up getting these and then i also wanted to show you guys the rest of the room i don't know if i ended up showing you guys in the other clips but we did kind of work on the room a little bit more it's still not completely done but we kind of arranged the furniture a little bit more like we wanted to so this is the crib and then we got a little plant right there. I want to put some like things on the wall. I want to get rid of that mirror and put like um, a few pictures over her crib. This is her changing table and her dresser. And I showed you guys me organizing everything. So <clears throat> now she has a pretty organized drawer. And then she has her chair. That's the rocking chair. Um, up here, I just put her little ultrasound picture and then a little sign and but somebody got her a little bow stand and I thought it was super cute. So I just put it right here in her window seal because we still need to get a table. I want to put a table right here or somewhere around here um, so that we can put like a lamp on it and like her humidifier and stuff. I also went ahead and built the swing and then her bouncer she has. And yeah, we put her clothes up here. She has her loungers and my breast pillow up there. So we still have some work to do to the room. I have my Moby wraps up here so I can just get to them. So yeah, and all the diapers and, you know, got my little mommy bag and all my bags packed so we are getting ready it's so dark in here um that's another thing we need to change out the ceiling fan with the lighting and stuff like that so that's why it's so dark in there sorry about that guys also i built her stroller well it's their stroller it's a double stroller so i got the ebb and flow stroller i'm pretty sure i've talked to you guys about this already but it's a double stroller, so that's her car seat up here. And then this is where Carter will be down here. So, pretty excited about that. I also went ahead and put in the car seat base. So, it's really not much to do. Oh, yeah. And, guys, I got my pump in the mail so let's actually go outside and get that i kind of want to unbox it with you guys i don't know if you guys really like care about like what kind of pump i'm gonna get but <laughs> i'm really excited about this pump you don't even understand it's the Modella hands-free pump and i'm like such a huge Modella fan i was in trying to figure out if i wanted to do the LV Stride or the Modella Hands Free because the Modella Hands Free is actually like super new. So I couldn't find like many reviews on them or anything like that. So I was a little hesitant because it's kind of pricey, but I really, really wanted it. So I went ahead and ordered it and it's in the mail now. So let's check it out. All right. Let's get into this. All right, I needed a knife to get into this. All right, let's unbox this thing. This is like the last thing that I have to sterilize before she comes. So I've been waiting on this. All right. What if I was so excited that it was my breast pump and it wasn't even the breast pump? Okay, it is. <laughs> Ow! Look at her. Look at her. Yes, yes. This is what I really, really wanted. So I had the Freestyle Flex the first time. Still like it and it's actually compatible with this. So I could still use some of the parts for that one that I still have. So that's another like key thing about it too to me um it's the exact same modem 
and I think that's what you call it. It's the exact same power thing right here. So the only difference is that it has the little, you know, cups that you can put in your bra. The other one kind of sticks out like this and it has a special bra that you use. It's actually cheaper. So <clears throat> I definitely recommend that one. I don't obviously don't know how this one works yet, but the other one was so good at suction. It just helped my output so much. I love Modella products usually. So that's why I'm so excited about this. But we will see how it does. So this right here is the like actual, you know, power control part of it. Now this is the part that's actually a little bit annoying because it is hands free, but this thing right here is touch screen. So sometimes like if you're holding it, it'll like wobble and things and like get the, you know, the screen, you'll end up tapping it. So that's why I actually got this thing and I got this idea from TikTok because this girl had a bag that was like a pump bag. I don't know. Um, but this one was $8 on Amazon. So I was probably just going to like cut a little hole in it and put the wire through it and put this in that. Strap it around me because it's a fanny pack. And then that way it'll be completely hands-free. It's actually not like a bad looking fanny pack either. It's kind of cute. So yeah, that's my plan to just like put this in here so i don't have to hold it and then put the tubing like cut just a small hole in it and put the tubing through and then i don't have to worry about you know carrying this thing around because that this right here is the most annoying thing if medela can just put a clip on the back of this so we can like clip it to our clothes or something like i don't know like why they don't do that because that's one thing about the lv stride it looks like it has like a clip on the back of the power system or whatever but yeah i wish Medela would do that because that's the most annoying thing but anyways now we get to the pump parts and the good thing about this is that well one of the things that actually sold me on it is that um it's not that many parts at all so this is the tubing right here and then the only other parts to it is these like cups so you get two of them one for each boob you know um and yeah so these are the little things you just stick right into your bra or if not things but flanges you know what i'm trying to say you stick into your bra and then um yeah so that's how that works so that's that and then this these are all the parts that it has so let me see if I can open it. I don't even know how to open it. Okay. So these are the only parts. It's only three parts that you really have to worry about, like washing. The membrane, the flange, and the little bulb thing. I don't know if I'm using the correct names, but yeah. So that's the cool part about it to me because when those babies come it's like you're washing dishes all the time like so you're always washing you're always sterilizing so it's nice that you don't have to wash so many little parts so yep and then and then another cool thing about it is that you get to actually see the milk that you're putting out i know a lot of the hands-free ones at first at least when they used to make them um they weren't like clear like this so you couldn't really see the milk that you were producing but i'll let you guys know like how it really works once i start using it but yeah i'm super excited so i'm gonna go ahead and start sterilizing these and yeah anyways guys that is the end of my video i'm pretty much done with all the things that i wanted to get done um i actually still am working on my birth plan so that's actually the last thing but um yeah everything else is pretty much done and now i'm just waiting on sis to come when she coming y'all <laughs> i don't know so yeah anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching until next time bye